Yeah. All right. Now, it's one thing when um, when you have your training partner, we're working techniques here. Uh, let's say he feeds me angle number one, okay? It's not just only for the benefit of the person who's catching that feed, but also for the benefit of the person who is making that feed, making sure that he sees where that target is. It's a it's a, it's a two-way conscious effort here. I mean, he's being realistic with the angle. I'm 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 uh, I'm calm. I'm conscious right here at that moment. So at the same time, I'm also going to train myself mentally for this because this here is just a small fraction of a half of a second. You know, this is just a small part of the process in the fight, and we need to survive. Okay. There's that intensity that you got to keep up here. At the same time, even with, even with the feeder. So, let's say, if I, say, I would feed. Okay, I measure where that's at. See this coming in. Come in. You make sure he is, he is out of there. Okay, I'm pushing into it too. I don't just, I don't just do that. I don't just. Uh, none of that sissy fairy one shit, okay? This is about hitting. This is about landing. This is about smashing the shit out of him. At the same time, he wants to survive that. Get that footwork out of there. Because you know, during the course of this drill, during the course of this practice, I'm still feeding him. So, I'm also getting to learn his energy too. At the same time, we he sees the feedback. He sees the timing. Okay, stay there. He goes. I'm not. I'm not trying to miss. So. It's important to respect the technique that you're practicing. Okay, he just me feeding his motion, but I want to I, I want to match that energy twice as much of the fury in my defense. He's coming in, boom! I got to get out of there. There he goes. Ooh. All right, you dig it? Okay.